Todd's tips. Close your eyes and you'll take the best picture because the soul is the best camera there is. This is it. The finale of new Pokemon Snap. Are you ready? We have one more area to explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? I'm ready, Professor. If you guys are ready, make sure to smash that like button. If you've enjoyed this series, because I have absolutely loved it. I can't get enough of this game. I want to play more of it already, even after we beat the story. That mural has turned my whole theory on its head. <laughs> Not only is there another Illumina Pokemon, but they've also been around since before the Meteorite. Ah yes, the 2000 year old Meteorite. Is it just me, Professor? Or is that excitement in your voice? It's not just you. This wasn't what I expected, but it's a fascinating discovery. Also. Plus, I've gone over all our data, and it shows that energy from all over Lentil is converging in one spot. And in that same spot, we picked up a very faint reading from an Illumina Pokemon, the final Illumina Pokemon. This time for real. The central one from the mural? Yep. It seems like it. Uh -huh. But what could it be? Where is it? No, I don't care where it is. I want to know what it is. That's the tricky part. This points to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. Auris. Oh my god, is it Arceus? No. Lucario? Mm -hmm. Lucario is too small to be a Illumina Pokemon, though. Most likely, that is where we'll find the island spoken of in Legends. Auris Island. Now. Time for one final expedition. Let's find the truth once and for all. So yeah, in the last episode, I predicted it was going to be Kyurem because I thought, you know, Ice Island and it's going to be a legendary Pokemon. I mean, I still think it might be a legendary, but Auris Island makes me think of Aura and therefore Lucario. But is there a legendary Pokemon that's all about Aura? I really want to predict it. Like, I just, I want to give a solid, like, I, I want to get it right, basically, but I know I'm not going to. And I feel it's going to be a legendary so I'm gonna go with Deoxys? No. I wanna say Arceus, but I just don't think so. What if it's just Mew again, dude? How disappointing would that be? I might just have to stick with Lucario after all. So I'm gonna lock it in. Lucario is the final Illumina Pokemon. Now let's find out as we head to the final area in the game, which is going to be Auris Island, the Ruins of Remembrance. These ruins slumber on a forgotten island, their origins a mystery. We don't even get a little preview of it, or well I guess we did, but it doesn't really tell us anything about what the final Pokemon could be, so it's still quite the mystery. Here we go, the final expedition of new Pokemon Snap. How many times have I said final or finale in this episode so far? Not enough, that's for sure, oh my god. Starting off right off the bat with a Houndoom screaming at us. Be careful. And the professor with some words of advice. Or not really advice, man's just stating the obvious. Uh, we also have Eldegoss, a Galar Pokemon. But we've actually had plenty of Galar Pokemon throughout the game. Actually not too many. I remember Scorbunny like in the very first level. Looks like an entrance to the ruins. The way is blocked. Do we have to take a picture of it? I think that counted because it had the little square over it and I could actually speed through this but nah this is it this is the last level dude we better enjoy every single second of it imagine after all this and there's still another island oh my god yo the Salazzles or wait no Salandit for a second I thought that was another Galar Pokemon but that was definitely Alola as we also got some Kalos represented with the uh, the Noivern and Houndoom got a little bit more of an action pose that time. Yo, there's actually such a big variety of Pokemon in this small level so far. And is that some kind of Illumina? No, uh, we definitely don't have the orbs yet though, because I guess this does count as its own island or its own separate area. So we're going to eventually have to photograph Illumina Phenomenon if we're going to get the orbs unlocked. But... Considering there's way more little glowing red spots over here, I don't think that was anything too special up there. Oh my, okay, this looks quite special. Is this even part of the ruins anymore? Or what am I looking at here? Yo, 
Yeah, Sigalith. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Chill, dude. Is it like an alarm? That definitely felt like an alarm. I don't know if we just triggered some kind of titan to awaken and it's going to come after us. Numerous heart-shaped markings cover the wall. Oh, I thought those were unknown. Wait a minute. Heart-shaped markings. Heart. Pokemon. Legendary. I'm still trying to figure out what, like, the final challenge is going to be. But let's just focus on what is actually in front of us right now. Golurk, one of my favorite Pokemon from Black and White, the Kalos region. I mean, Unova, my B. We also have Behem, actually from Unova also. My gosh, I'm getting my regions confused, dude. Too many dang regions, too many Pokemon. Just kidding, there could never be too many Pokemon for this brain. I'll memorize them all. Types and everything. Except maybe abilities. I'm not very good at Pokemon abilities, but pretty much everything else, I got you. I don't know what that is, though. That's some crystals. And also not to. Which I don't remember if we've seen before. I feel like we would have, but maybe not. What is this symbol? Numerous deep gashes. Hearts and gashes. Man, I don't I can't really think of any legendary Pokemon. Aside from Magirna that has anything to do with hearts, uh, but it doesn't really have claws, so I don't know what it could make those gashes with. Oh, the little Natu on top of Golurk. That is so cute. Is this Golurk even activated? Man's doing the straight up military pose. Yo, you wanna like wake up, bro? Hit us with a little dance move. Do the robot, maybe? I know Golurk's not technically a robot, but it kind of looks like the Iron Giant, which is a robot. And there's an awful lot of Houndooms. I feel like they're probably the most, like, chill Pokemon in this level. So maybe they would eat an apple or fluff fruit or whatever. The Crystal Blooms and the statues are arranged in the same position. What statues? What are you talking about? These are actually all the Crystal Blooms from the levels we've already done before. So I don't know. Maybe this area is special. Like... We can maybe choose which Crystal Bloom to take after we beat it the first time through. Because right now, there's some sort of pedestal behind the sleeping Golurk. But he is, like, analyzing it. You good, man? Is this, like, the alien Gundam? But he is just going to hop inside of Golurk and start piloting it? That would actually be pretty epic. But, wait, what? That was really the whole level? I am very confused. Well, I'm sure the professor's going to have something to say about all that. And also rate our photos, of course. How was the first crack at the course? We got seven photos, 47 total taken. That was a lot, dude. So let's begin with Houndoom, who I think I was actually calling Houndour this whole time for some reason. I definitely know it's Houndoom. Uh, my apologies if I was mistaking it. But I think I'm going to go with uh, this last photo here. Even though we did get the two-star behavior and technically the three. Never mind, I'm going to go for the three. And then we got Eldegoss. Oh, whoa, I didn't realize that first shot we got was actually pretty decent. More than decent, I would say. The sleeping Natu on Golurk is the four-star. That's just such a cool interaction even though they're not really interacting. Like, the dude's literally just using him as a little footstool. Uh, Noivern already picked it up. And then I think Sigalith doing its signal beam. This might actually be a decent framing. Um, and yeah, it's a special behavior, which I think we also might have gotten for Behem. Oh, we just got the two star. Oh, this is a one? You would think with its, like, little things glowing. I mean, this one, they're glowing too when it counts for two as in the stars but i'm gonna go for the one instead because it's a little bit better framed and uh, i don't know man I, I know earlier in another episode i said i was always gonna go for the rarer behavior but it doesn't really matter at the end i'm just trying to go for the highest scoring photo and finally we've got the ancient ruins the photo of the actual ruin which i think will probably unlock some uh information from the professor but first, of course, we've got to get evaluated, so Houndoom is going to be pretty doomed. 
the, the rating, at least. We got a silver, which is not great. But this Eldega should make up for it. Yeah, nice and shiny diamond there. Not too sleeping on Golurk. Isn't a great size or anything, but maybe just for the pose is actually just 500. Wow. I wonder how we can get a really good picture of that then. Assuming that the four star behavior is just not too sleeping. Or if that's like the only place where we can spot not too sleeping, then we have to get somehow really a lot closer to it. Then we got Sigilyph shooting off that car alarm. That actually kind of scared me. Like, I thought a bunch of Pokemon were going to show up out of nowhere defending the ruins and attack me or something. <laughs> That's totally what I thought was happening, but... The Bahiams in there, the Golurks were all pretty gentle, I would say. Unless some kind of evil team shows up out of nowhere. Yo, that's another diamond for Bahiam. Not bad. And then finally, Golurk was like the biggest dude in the whole level. Somehow saved it all the way till the end. And it might just be, yes indeed, another diamond, baby. Well, technically the final picture is the ancient ruins themselves. Or at least the entrance, which we don't get any points for, but the professor should have some stuff to say about it. Oh wait, we gotta get our level up first. I, I forgot, man. Getting ahead of myself. You mind? What we learned from the photo will help me make an Illumina Orb for Oris Island. I didn't actually read what he said before that. I'm gonna guess something about photographing an Illumina Pokemon or a Krista Bloom. Seems like it was pretty important for us to read what he said, but I didn't. So, uh, I guess we'll just retry then, since he doesn't actually have any more info yet. I'm gonna guess, much like the undersea level before, there's some kind of Illumina Pokemon hiding in this level. And I totally could have skipped all of that. I don't know why I didn't. You know what? We're speeding through this. Come here, Houndoom. Turned around right as I got close to you, buddy. Come on. Oh, no, nothing to be scared about. A crystal bloom that grows on Oris Island. So there is a specific crystal bloom for just this island. As Eldegosses fly by. Wait a minute. I thought that one was glowing for a second. I think it might have just been the actual glow from the sky, though. There's another crystal bloom. Oh, wait. Is it already glowing? I think it might be, actually. So is that it? Yo, how doom? Looks really cool up. Oh my gosh, dude! What the heck? That's actually scared me. <laughs> it came up so close, so aggressive though. Let me see if I can get a better picture of Noivern as it's... Uh... Oh, it actually stops right here for a second. So yeah, that might be a pretty good shot. And then I really thought there was something up there where I guess Noivern flies off to, but... Oh! Did I not get a picture of Salandit the first time around? I don't think I did. You guys want to go for the apple? <gasps> nice, dude. Hey, I got plenty of apples for all of you. Here, just come closer to me, my friends. Yes, yes, perfect. I will have a army unlike the world has ever seen. Of tiny little lizards that are horny. <laughs> did we get the crystal bloom? Yes, we did. So it was the one right at the entrance. We're going to go ahead and submit that first. And then Saland it is the only new Pokemon that I guess I forgot to photograph the first time around. Look at them making a little conga line for the apples, dude. I uh, might actually go for this one. Feels like the size will be a little better and whatnot. And then Sigilyph, oh, that was the two-star behavior. Right before it sounds the alarm. We got Houndoom really close up. Uh, that would actually replace the one we already got, but I actually really like this shot. And there's even another Houndoom in the back. So yeah, that's definitely going to get submitted. But what do you think, Professor? You're the real judge at the end of the day. I say that's a Diamond Houndoom right there. But the Professor says it is. Thank you. I mean, that's like a really good shot. And that reminds me, uh, at the end of the playthrough, which I guess technically this is the final episode, but... I will probably be making some bonus videos, as I've noticed in the comments, a lot of you have been letting me know there are legendary Pokemon, there are special interactions and special encounters, plus, you know, we're barely scratching the first surface of the photo decks, and I do want to complete it by the end, so there will definitely be bonus episodes of the series, despite this being the finale of the story. And where was I going with this? 
I totally got distracted. Uh, that's right, one of the things I want to do for you guys is upload my best photos to some kind of Google Drive folder or some website where you guys can download them if you want to use them as backgrounds or wallpapers or whatever. Actually, if you didn't know, there is a Munching Orange Islands Discord server that you can join with the link in the description and we actually have a Pokemon Snap channel where you can share your own screenshots and pictures if you want other people to see your cool, you know, shots or wallpapers or whatever. Come through, join, as there is the Krista Bloom and that should give us the energies we need to make a Illumina Orb. I totally did not read what the professor was saying there at the bottom. I kind of just made up my own dialogue, honestly. Most importantly, are we going to get to level 2? I think we should. With uh, the new Pokemon we got, and also the new shots. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable. Does that mean the Golurks are actually going to... Well, the Golurks are fine. They chillin'. By the way, now that we've got the Crystal Bloom info, I've got something to report. Hope you're excited. Oh, heck yeah, I'm excited, dude. Wait a minute. I think there was a picture I wanted to save, wasn't there? Oh, it was the Houndoom. I wanted to slightly re-snap it, but it's too late now. It's fine. Let's get hype, because this is really it this time. Maybe. Wow. Another set of amazing ruins. Great. That's right. And here's something intriguing about them. They seem to include two distinct types of structures. Oh. What's different about them? Mm -hmm. If we compare the ruins at the entrance to what we saw deeper inside the cave... Yes? The cave part seems to have been built later, and possibly in a hurry. That's... an interesting perspective, Professor. I can't say I know what the heck you're saying, but there was definitely something weird about that area. Why were flowers from the other islands in there? We can take that as evidence that energy from all throughout Lentil is converging there. If we can untangle these mysteries, I'm sure we'll find the way forward. In the meantime, I've finished work on another set of Illumina Orbs. I'm sure they'll prove to be helpful. All right. We're getting close to our goal, thanks to all the research you three have been doing. Keep it up! So I'm gonna guess we have to take these back to those ruins and maybe light up all the Krista Blooms that we saw, maybe in like a certain order. That's just my guess, but it sounds like that's probably what it is. Oh, no, no, not this again. That's horrible. Stop it. Stop it, Sigalef. Here, glow, my friend. I also noticed a Chandelure, which is definitely a new Pokemon here, but let's actually not speed up, because uh, I'm pretty sure there is a puzzle that we've got to do here. And, oh, wait. I already lit up the wishy-washy on accident. <laughs> I actually meant to illuminate Chandelure so we could take a good picture of it. Oh, uh, it turned off though. So let's try to do them in order. First, Meganium. The very first Illumina Pokemon we encountered. And I'll take a little picture of it too, just in case. Ooh, that's a really nice Houndoom. Does Golurk react to the orbs, maybe? Ooh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? That's cool. Did we, like, fill it with more energy? Maybe making it, like, turn on or something? Here, this will be a much better picture in terms of the size and whatnot. But those Illumina Orbs, or Krista Blooms, turn off, like, a couple minutes after we activate them. So I don't think that's quite it, at least for the puzzle. I don't even think there is a Krista Bloom. Oh, there it is. Hey, Salandit! Oh, it was so happy! I love it! I think that might have activated Steelix? No? Maybe it's uh, at the very end. You know how there was all the different crystals from the different islands? You might have to trigger them in the right order. Maybe it's not even the order in which we, you know, face the challenges in. Could be something else. These Eldegosses are actually blocking the one for... Whatever this Pokemon is. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. So we've got Milotic triggered. Not in the bad way, though. Oh, wait. Doesn't that mean that we can now activate this? Ooh! <gasps> Yo! Yes, Golurk! Has been turned on! I mean, activated. I don't want you guys to get, get it twisted. It actually shook the Natu away. 
I think it's right here. Oh wait, what? They're all on already. Is there one final crystal bloom for this statue? There's gotta be, right? Unless it was actually that one behind Golurk that I missed. I can still get it though. There we go. Yes! The final one is activated. So now all of them are glowing except for the middle. Is that it? Have I done it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck? What is this giant light? Oh my god. That definitely triggered something. I don't think those were... Oh, absolutely! Oh, what the heck? Yo, where did you come from? Look over here, buddy. I do a little scan, maybe? Make you glow? Oh, nice. It's actually going for the apple. But, more importantly, I think we're actually heading into the light right now. Which is kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. The heum? Oh, what the heck? We got another cutscene. like the runes have come to life. You mean to light? I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. That was great. Energy from each island seems to be flowing upward. Into that tree in the middle. Or whatever that is. It looks like that'll take you up. Up where? To heaven? So up we go. I don't want to die yet, bro. I'll set up a teleportation point at the top. Why don't you come back to camp for a bit? Oh, thank goodness. We can teleport straight to the top. What if it actually is Arceus? After all that, man. I kept saying how the final boss is not gonna be Arceus, but now I'm thinking it might be, honestly. Teleporting into a golden beam of light up into heaven? Sounds like Spear Pillar to me. But we got one final analysis. Oh my god. Look at that butt. Oh, the Eldegoss absolutely glowing. I like it. And then we got Salandit, which we got eating the apple, but also this one. I feel that at one point it was dancing right in front of us, but I didn't capture it in time. So let's just submit this one instead. Sigalith, we got the one star, actually. We haven't somehow entered it. Okay. And then Chandelure was a new Pokemon, but it was really far away. Like, we had to speed up and zoom to it if we wanted a better pick. For Golurk, we finally got that three-star behavior, and this one's a little bit far. I might actually... Yeah, I think the one of these two is probably much better. Natu was a little closer. Oh, that's the three-star behavior. We actually caught it mid-air, flying off of Golurk. So, yeah, I'll definitely go for that one. And finally, Absol, we got three different kinds of behavior for it in one go. Uh, I think I'm going to use the two, because the three is just it eating. So I feel like that's a little easier to replicate. And off to the professor. As I actually forgot to submit for Neuburn, but whatever. I'm definitely going to be redoing these levels at some point, you know. Starting things right, though, with a diamond. Now that is what I like. I don't think we're going to get a diamond for Eldegoss, though. Nah, it's just the gold. That's still good, though. We got Salandit. That's not going to be... Actually, gold, at least. So if we got it at that earlier point, after it ate the apple, where it was really up close, that would have been really... Maybe even a 5k. I don't know, man. Anyway. Next up is Chandelure, which is indeed a new discovery. But it's not exactly the best picture of it. Honestly, it's a better picture of just, like, that statue of nice wishy-washy. Wait, didn't we already go through Lur go go Lurk? Great timing. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all confused now. Probably thinking of when we actually chose the photo, but... Last is Absol, the premonition of bad things to come. At least in the Pokedex. I'm pretty sure Absol is, like, a bad omen. And considering it appeared right at the end of the level, right before we went into the light, I have a very bad feeling about what's going to happen next. In the elevator of light. Oh my gosh. That's really what it's called? Alright, you got something to report. And I know it's going to be real special this time. So, let's do it. Extra length episode for the finale. Looks like now's the moment we've been waiting for. If I'm reading, reading the topography correctly, mm -hmm. this ought to take you straight to the center of the ruins. Through the gate we saw at the beginning. I really thought he was going to say straight to heaven. <laughs> Not in a Pokemon game. That's where we'll find the Pokemon that was in the middle of the others in the mural, right? You mean the one that was scratched out? 
After all this, we may finally get to meet it. Dude, I really hope it's not Arceus. Yep. I think we all know you're the one to handle that moment. Yeah, leave it up to a literal oh, child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course you get all the fun. You better get some good photos. Have fun. Say hi to the Illumina Poke. It wouldn't be the finale without my, my Joy-Con dying again. I can see in your eyes that you're ready. That's the spirit. All right. Good luck out there. Keep your chin up and your camera ready. Maybe I should switch the controller though, just in case. Like, I don't want the final cutscene to get interrupted by my Joy-Con dying. All right. So off we go. Back to Oris and straight to the final Illumina spot. Who is the final Illumina Pokemon going to be? The real final Illumina Pokemon this time, because that was the title of the last episode, but clearly... Looks like that's the source of the reading, but it's very faint. This is the real finale. What is that anyway? Wait, is it Xerneas? That kind of looks like Xerneas. Oh... Legendary spirits unite! And when your powers combine, we create Captain Planet! Incredible! This reading is off the chart! Really? Wow, okay! It really is Xerneas! The Pokemon of Life! I don't mind that at all, actually. I never thought that it had anything to do with Aura, but... That was it. The final Illumina Pokemon we've been searching for. Go get him. Wait, did Xerneas just turn into literal light? And now we gotta hunt it down. Yo, I can't spoil it on the thumbnail. I gotta keep it a surprise, considering how this whole episode I was like... Trying to guess what legendary it might be. And at no point ever did I think it would be Xerneas, but... There's the orb of light. I don't think we've got a photograph. We probably have to hit it with an Illumina orb, right? And considering how hit or miss my aim has been in this playthrough so far, I don't think it's going to be easy at all. I'm just going to keep my eyes forward because I'm pretty sure it's going to be right around the corner. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on. Oh my god, I thought I hit it right there, man. That was pretty close, actually. Okay, I know, Professor. Chill. I just... I, I I have bad aim, man. Chill. Oh my god, how did that not hit? Seriously? Okay, wait. No! That was so close. Oh, there we go! Finally! That's only the first time we've hit it, though. I'm gonna guess we have to hit it... Ooh! Just one time, really? And now maybe we hit... Z oh my god! I think we had to hit Xerneas again with it. Thing is teleporting real quick, though. I don't even know if I got a picture of it on time. If this is like the other Illumina spots or levels, then we definitely have to hit Xerneas a couple of times after it's changed form to really make it glow. Like the full Illumina glow, you know? Not just the regular, but like the Illumina phenomenon as it's been called in the playthrough so far. Oh, did we actually hit it? Yo, there it is! I think I hit it again. But why are you hiding? What the heck? Hold on, did that count? You're like right there, man. There we go. Oh, yo, we got it! Yes! Illumina Phenomenon Xerneas! Now turn this way, I want a better picture. I want a better look at you. And off it goes, back to- Oh, dude, there was a Crystal Bloom right there. We totally should have hit that instead. I'm sure it would have probably turned around. As there it is, the mural. This time, including Xerneas, the protector from... Oh, why do I feel like there'd be another evil Pokemon? Like, the meteor can't just be a random thing, can it? It might actually be a Veltal, the counterpart. Not really a Pokemon known for meteors, though. The only one that I can think of is Deoxys, but that just doesn't really fit with Xerneas, does it? So, I don't think there's going to be a surprise evil Pokemon ruining things at the end. This is probably it. This is the final level. And we already caught a pretty good photo of Xerneas, so... Are we done? Are we good? 
I don't see anything else popping up. It's actually making me kind of nervous that maybe we already missed our shot. Or that was our shot. Was that last picture we took of it. It can't be though. Come on. Where's the little orb of light? It's gotta appear at least one more time. There's a suspicious looking hole over there. If I can maybe get some apples in there. Uh, well, we got one. But nothing's popping out, so... I don't know. I'm actually just gonna speed up. Because I'm impatient, dude. I want to know if that was really it or not. Oh, well, we're going back to the main room. So that really might have been it. Since we got the pick we needed. Welcome back, king. As soon as I saw the tree, though, I knew. Not sure about those orbs floating around it, though. If those are going to end up being Pokemon, or if they just represent the other Illumina phenomenon. Probably the second one. Oh, you better put that shield back up, boy. You don't know what those orbs are going to do, man. Might just get some superpowers, or you'll end up getting too powerful and get vaporized like that might happen to us I don't want to get turned into a tree what just happened you tell me let's talk about it once you're back okay I guess My heart is racing, man. I really thought there was about to be a plot twist. Right at the end there. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get those photos evaluated. Looks like we managed to get 13 of them. And at least one of the ones for Xerneas counted. Oh! I didn't realize that the mural was actually registerable. I just took it because I thought it looked cool. And yeah, we did get actually two different behaviors for Xerneas. The standard walking and then whatever this is. Oh man, that picture's so sick though. Too bad it doesn't count because it's not fully glowing. But I guess um, afterwards we can resnap it and save it. We're going to submit the two star behavior though and hope that it is a 5k photo. Just for being Xerneas. I feel like we're going to get it. The Illumina Pokemon of Oris looks happy, doesn't it? Eh, uh, debatable. Are you serious? Really? Wow. Okay. So maybe not, you know, being a Lumina Pokemon doesn't just mean by default you get a 5k, huh? I might have overestimated the power of the Illumina pose. But I guess we also have a research level for even this stage as we are now level 2. Look at that! You've hit a new stage! Keep an eye out for those changes. As long as I don't change into a tree anytime soon. Or ever, really, then I think I'm good. But yes, we are gonna get some info from the prop back at the lab. But first, I do want to save this photo of Xerneas, because that is really epic. Just, unfortunately, it wasn't glowing, so the professor doesn't seem to care about photos unless they glow. But like, come on, dude, that's pretty cool. This is honestly pretty cool, too. That might be the thumbnail right there, honestly. I just put like this with the logo and don't reveal what it actually is. Watch there still be more, dude. Wow. I knew it. We were right to believe there was another Illumina Pokemon. <laughs> the mural was spot on. Mm -hmm. Yes, which raises the question. Wow. Did things really happen the way the mural depicts them? Maybe Xerneas called out to all the others for help. Help from the meteor, right? So they could make a barrier or something to stop the meteorite. I really thought the meteorite was going to make a comeback. A barrier big enough to cover the whole lentil region. Probably the whole world, dude. Maybe Xerneas saved us like the dinosaurs from extinction. <laughs> you never know. It could be, though. That's gotta be what happened! Yeah. That'd mean the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Illumina Pokemon too! No. 
But the meteorite came 2,000 years ago! Shouldn't Xerneas have awakened long before now? You're the professor, dude. You figure it out. I think stopping the meteorite probably took just about everything it had. So much so, that it's still tired after 2,000 year nap. Yeah, makes sense. So... When do you think that mural was made, anyway? What? Wait, what? Also... And who do you think made it? Uh, well... Well... Looks like we've stumped the professor. We're gonna have to do some more research, wait! Why is it you were able to meet those Illumina Pokémon? Maybe we're the ancestor of the ruined maniacs of Lentil. Or maybe it's just because we're the main character. You guys get it, right? Get what? Of course. <laughs> so obvious. I don't get it. Someone explain. Oh, it's because Pokemon love us. Including the Illumina Pokemon. We are the chosen one. It's so simple. Do you really not know, Professor? Hmm. Pokemon can tell when someone really loves them. And they return that love right back. Right? Yeah! Can you guys tell I love Pokemon? It must be from a study I haven't read yet. We have got to get you out of the lab more often. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. And I believe that is it. The end of new Pokemon Snap as the credits roll. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this series. As I mentioned earlier, I will be doing more bonus episodes and I'm really excited to see the secrets of this game as well as if there's anything maybe hidden in the story if we like complete the photo decks or I don't know, keep exploring the ruins because there's got to be a little bit more to the story. Or well, maybe not actually. That was a pretty nice finish. To be honest, I was expecting the meteorite to come back though and it to be more like epic or climactic, I suppose, because this was very wholesome. But that is basically Pokemon Snap. It's like the most wholesome Pokemon game ever. So perhaps, uh, you know, the game not ending in catastrophe and then us having to save the region from it is probably better. You know, it was a better choice to have it end with just Xerneas. As actually, those are some of my own photos in the background, I believe, from throughout the playthrough and also ones that I've taken just playing uh, randomly. But yeah, that's it. I can probably talk all the way through the credits if I wanted to. Those of you guys that just joined along with this playthrough, if it was your first time watching my channel, you might have come to realize that I talk a dang lot. Like, I could literally talk through these whole credits probably, but I don't know if I will, because I don't necessarily have a lot more to say, but like, I could if I wanted to, just, just believe me. So instead of boring your ears away or entertaining them, instead I will just let the music take it away. And if you guys enjoyed this playthrough, make sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments what you thought of new Pokemon Snap. I know there was a lot of people that I convinced to actually pick up the game for themselves, which I'm honestly really happy about. Like, I'm not a Pokemon salesman. I don't get paid, at least not by Pokemon themselves to promote the games or anything. And even though in almost all of my other playthroughs, I do keep a positive vibe about the game. I'm no stranger to criticizing them when they mess up, but with Pokemon Snap, honestly, they did a fantastic job from the gameplay, the graphics, the music at certain points. Like this credit song is really good and the Illumina Pokemon levels had bangers. The regular levels, they were all right. But overall, I gotta say Bandai Namco did amazing in recreating the vibe of the original Pokemon Snap but also upgrading it to the current generation in what is probably the best looking Pokemon game I've ever played. Like compared to Sword and Shield, compared to, I don't know, Pokemon Masters, might sound kind of like a meme because it's a mobile game, but the graphics in that game are actually pretty good. And actually, Pokemon Tournament had really good graphics too, but new Pokemon Snap takes the cake. This is probably the best looking Pokemon game 
And I would say it makes me hopeful for the future, but knowing that it was made by another company and not Game Freak, and also the fact that we've already seen what Pokemon Legends is gonna look like. I don't know, man, there is still a glimmer of hope in the potential of what five, ten more generations down the line. <laughs> Maybe Pokemon games can look like this, at least in terms of the graphics and especially the Pokemon interacting. That was without a doubt my favorite part of this game was just actually seeing the creatures behaving like real life creatures, interacting and engaging with the world and each other. When compared to the Isle of Armor, or I mean the wild area in general in Sword and Shield, where they're kind of just there, appearing out of nowhere, and Pokemon could be a lot better. Obviously, it's a lot more complicated than that in terms of the gameplay in a main series Pokemon game, but we'll have to see what Pokemon Legends has in store for us, though technically the next game will be Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So until then, I will be doing many more videos. Pokemon Xenoverse is the current playthrough that I'm doing, which is a really, really good fan game, as well as the bonus Pokemon Snap videos I talked about, and other variety content. And I'm gonna do a surprise reveal for you right here, an exclusive on a possible future playthrough, which is another really good Pokemon spin-off game called Pokepark that I've never actually played before, but it came out a while ago for the Nintendo Wii, and I will be streaming it probably next week, so stay tuned for that and any other playthroughs. And that is it! I managed to talk through the whole credits! What did I say? I knew I could do it! Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.